Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Let's Play What I'm Playing. What I'm Playing? Let's Play? GTA 5 this is the second episode of What I'm Playing while I'm playing this game. That's just stupid. I'm just gonna say, you know what? Screw it. We're stealing a car. Not the <laughs> That's hard to say though. What I'm Playing? Let's Play? I'm confused. But uh, let's go do a mission. Actually, no, I'm gonna get a haircut. Because a traumatic experience like having your family leave. That warrants a haircut. Definitely does. Whatever. I like how Jimmy has the decency to text you and be like, Oh, I stole your car, so... Just so you know. Can we go in here? Let's have a look -see. All right. Let's have a look-see. Some stylish hair, bro. <laughs> stylish, I say. And we're gonna have to go with... A slicker? I also wish they added more haircuts um, in the updates. It's like they kind of abandoned story mode. And that's kind of what I was getting to. Uh, we're going with the we're going with the goatee. It's kind of what I was getting to at the uh, in the last episode. I was I'm really annoyed that there isn't more DLC options, and aside from the online content, because I online is fun. All right, online is it's Bye -bye, it's fun. Beautiful. I started a little bit too late. I'm only like level 29. Maybe I'll play some of that later, but uh, I'm only level 29, so you have a bunch of people who are like level 5,000, or it seems like 5,000, it's really just like 200, and they have bulletproof cars, and they have top tier weapons, and it just sucks, because you keep getting killed by them. Um, is this Flying Lotus? It is, I love this guy. For those of you who don't know, Flying Lotus is, right now, one of my favorite producers in the music industry, he makes some amazing songs. Shoutouts to Never Catch Me by Kendrick, by him and Kendrick Lamar. That's a great, great song. But, uh, let's see the over there. Uh, but yeah, I just wish they had more DLC for the story. I mean, and speaking of that, recently, well, I guess it was like two months ago now, but Sean Fontina, the voice of Franklin Clinton. <laughs> I don't know why I had to say that. But Franklin's voice actor, he was in the studio recording with a GTA Vice City poster behind him and his mocap suit. So, all signs point to there being more story DLC, which I would love. I mean, I would love that. I don't even care what it'd be about. It, as long as it's as long as uh, the Battle of Gaetoni or the Lost and Damned, I'd be fine with that. But just give me some, give us some DLC, some story DLC, because we that's like the best thing there is. Really. Uh, but this is actually a nifty mission. This is one of the missions that uh, got a lot of controversy when the game first came out. This is the one with the torture sequence. So. Ooh, phone call. Tracy, baby. Phone oh. call. Yeah, look, Dad. Don't worry. I'm worried too. He's really died too, you. just yeah. Well, I don't want to see yeah, I don't care. Hang up. You left my house, you don't get to talk to me. <laughs> That's a terrible way to be about your children. Don't do that. It's kind of cool, the IAA, which I guess the CIA and the FBI, uh, right across the street from each other. It's kind of cool. They have uh, quite the rivalry in this game, so... Can we run? Can you? We can run. Up until a point. And you know what? Actually, oh, I'll say it after David. the cutscene, because it's no point oh, isn't this nice? talking over this a whole bunch. Sorry, guys. This burning hunk of love is all mine. <laughs> Brilliant! Steve Haynes, amigo, but you probably knew that already. No, I did, you jerk. Off. Oh, 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 duh. I love it. I, I, I gotta remember to write that down. <laughs> and to shoot you in your head, you annoying dick. <laughs> Andreas, taking notes? This stuff. Whoa. It's kind of cool. His name's Andreas and you know, San Andreas. That's kind of cool. Have you seen my show? You mean how to dress like a salesman on a cheap golf weekend at a third-rate country club? <laughs> so... Well done with our, uh, our friend, Mr. K. My pleasure. Uh, I love helping our government wage war, especially with itself. But you made a mistake. Did I, Cupcake? Why don't you keep your fucking voice down before I close your fucking windpipe? The joke stopped now, pal. You will show me and my team some respect. Maybe you could define team for me. Is that just the three of you? 
That's the theme with Michael. The he just he life. really doesn't know when to stop. But I appreciate that about yes. him because I'm tempted to argue that I mean he he's like the protagonist of his own movie. Which I really like. And why don't you start stuff like this with happens. Me, genius. You got it, pal. We have received intel that they're keeping Mr. K at the local agency station. I just dealt with that guy. The agency is stepping up their questioning because of your moronic antics down at the coroner's office. We need to get him out of there before he blabs. I did what Agent Norton said. Then I guess you getting involved with a clapped out old agent who's been living off of past glories was your first mistake. You are my boy now, amigo. My career depends on this. And that's very important to me. So seen as we're all boys now, that makes it important to you. You gotta love blackmail. Now run along, kids. See, there you go, Dave. I like the sound the uh, chairs That's made, too. Cool Very dog. realistic. New tricks. Like the last GTA, they wouldn't have, wouldn't have paid any attention to that. But the chairs, they actually make that metal scraping and stone sound. Stone sound. But what I was saying, see this tree? See how it's all pink? Like, that's what you'd expect in spring. But apparently this game takes place in, like, either September or October, uh, judging by some of the calendars in the game, which I think in an earlier episode of somewhere, I said that it was, this game took place in spring, which I think I was wrong about, which, you know, not surprising. Die! I didn't see you do that. Yeah, you did. Ignore that. And concentrate on all the IAA agents we're gonna run into. What are we listening to? Um, this is a new radio station. I love this song. Welcome to Los Angeles. It's, called, it's actually interesting. This uh, station called The Lab is host, hosted by uh, Dr. Dr. Somebody. It's like a real producer. And then The Alchemist, who's another producer. Who I actually kind of like the music quite a bit. But I think they're both like from call. New York City, which is really strange. Can I call okay. him before you? Okay. Oh, you can't. Okay. Um, what was I going to say? Uh, yeah, the, the station is hosted by the Optimist and this other guy who are from New York, which, I mean, I guess it, like if it's like satellite radio, because there aren't any commercials on this station, it would make sense, like a Liberty City flavored station or whatever, but still. It's mostly West Coast music, but it's hosted by East Coast uh, DJs. So that's kind of, kind of concerning to me. In very minute so sense. That's a dumb move, Dave. Oh, this is actually Real a pretty good one. Just worry about the plan, okay? Getting Mr. K out of the IAA station. It's one thing I never later. really understood. That people could slide across huh? their car like that. No, I, it's another without hitting everything right? and messing up the inside of their car. Enough yeah. with the faux political bullshit. Franklin. Generic agent Come guy. Better take off. Really? Shit, I'm good. I ain't bailed. Whoa. Well, am I detecting some uh some sort of uh, son I never had. Bullshit here, Mikey, huh? Pretty much. Hey, listen. If you want to replace some father figure, you can do a lot better than this fat snake, all right? This fucker would eat his own kids. Like I said, Franklin, deranged. Yeah, and best friend. <laughs> exactly. That's Trevor, my best friend. That's Franklin, the son I always wanted. <sighs> all right, guys, listen, this is the shot. I'm going to do all the heavy lifting on this job, okay? Trevor, all I need you to do is fly me to the target. Franklin, you're gonna cover me from across the street. We're gonna make these assholes happy, and we're gonna walk away from this thing clean. Got it? I got you. All right. And we do this, and they help us bring Brad. Right? Yeah. All right. We'll talk about Brad later. All right. I got to change. You better grab a head start. Nice to meet you, homie. Yeah. Whatever. The government gimp at last. Yeah, bite me. Let's go. One thing they did really cool. Right, let's do this well, I guess it makes sense, but they, uh, all the characters have their own kind of attributes, so it's neat to see that to Trevor's the best pilot, and Frank's the best driver, and that pole hit my helicopter. 
Can we get some radio in here? Can we get some... Can we get some Smokey Robinson? There are so many good songs in this game. And there's so many songs that I actually download because they, uh, I heard of you. Like, everything by Toro and Wah, that guy, Chaz Bundick, Bundick, I don't know how you say his last name. Amazing. Come on now. Yep, always oh, nice. You know, you had me at suicide pack. That's the one thing, if there was DLC for this game, I definitely would do that line. Like story DLC. I would most absolutely do that. You know, having played it before. So I would love to share that experience. It's like raw emotion. Because I'm sure it'd be great. In a recent interview, though, I think uh, someone interviewed one of the heads of Rockstar, or like one of their marketing heads. Yo, oh, Junk? The guy looks at you. That's so cool. I never noticed that. I never really. That's cool. Um, but it's Kate slash Molly. What was her name? I don't know. Kate from GTA 4. That's kind of cool. You think we can't do that? We can. It's in our guidelines. I don't know what you're talking about. That's really cool, actually. Cinema equipment, not surveillance. <laughs> Grab his other arm. No, 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 no. Oh, 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 oh. Ah! Like those are friggin' D batteries in that flashlight. Like. Uh, 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 See how you feel with this? Is 18 inches deep inside. Ow. Get the lube. Actually, fuck the lube. Let's dry dock him. <laughs> and we have a hostage. Yeah, I can use a little backup here. And sniper off the roof. Bro. Bang! Bang! We got headshots. We got headshots. Nope. Officer Chang. Officer Jackson. I'm sorry, that's really not appropriate. <laughs> Stereotyping. Alright, let's go. Is that it? No. Can I? Alright, let's switch to Michael. And I use, I prefer auto aim. Oh, well, I have played it without auto aim. But I really do like uh, choosing auto aim, particularly for story. Um, it's just, since it's not a first person shooter, it's kind of difficult to just get in the swing of using. Free aim, but I'm not opposed to it per se. Let's take out this. Uh, can I take out this bogey? Can I take out this bogey? Take out the bogey. Can I? Can I? Can I hit that? God. Take down the chopper. Where's the other one? There's the other one. Wait, no. Where is it? All right. Let's switch to this guy. Oh, we actually could use special abilities here. Gotta love those. I actually find uh, Michael's special ability to be more. It's probably the most useful. But it wasn't until actually I was playing and I saw, or I, I was watching, I saw somebody use Franklin's special ability, the super control on the bike, which slows down time, to use that for shooting people which actually makes a whole lot of sense and I've been using it ever since I saw that I don't know who I saw you like that so no shot up sadly um, come on hit it hit it hit it hit it can I get some something in here finally all right it should be good Should be good. Why are we going the wrong direction? That's, that's stupid. Okay. Oh my god, I want to go back here so bad. To, to LA, rather. Not Los Angeles. I wonder what the uh, achievement is for flying under all the bridges. Like, do you get something in game? I don't really know. I'll have to look that up. 
Stay by the suit. Because government blood. You saved me. Thank you. Yo, welcome. Thank you. Don't mention it. I can't tell who this guy is either. I don't know if he's supposed to be Hispanic or if he's like Native American or Middle Eastern. I don't really know what he's supposed to be. No, not right there. Not right there. No, are you serious? Are you serious right now? Down, down. Oh my god, no. <laughs> Oops. Come on. Alright. Perfection. Perfection. At the end of that. <laughs> in bed with the bureau and the new running buddy. Yeah, he's more of a protege. Yeah, what you gonna love how he's sizing up the time? helicopter. Yeah, never grow up. So that is now the newest helicopter, of Trevor oh, Phillips Enterprise. This, uh, new city, new set of problems, but the idiots, uh, they stay the same. Yep, I guess. Right, Trevor, it's actually funny you, you hear him call hey, Trevor believe, Phillips buddy. Inc., Trevor Phillips Enterprise, and Trevor Phillips. Um, industries all in the same game. Or all in the, yeah, all in the same game, really, rather, I guess. I'll blow this up. I can blow it up. That's great. Mission passed? Silver, what did we miss? We missed, oh, the time and the accuracy. Well, I guess that'll do it for this time. Um, we here playing real sound. The truth Shadow Sphere. Okay. Thundercat, I love this song. Great song. It's actually free on Amazon Prime, if you're interested. Uh, but yeah, I think that'll be the end of this episode. I will probably play this another day. Another day I might be farther along, but until then, no sticky bombs, are you serious? No sticky bombs. Well, homing launcher will have to do. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Have a great day.